the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Good morning. Today the church remembers St. Anthony of Padua, born in Lisbon. Uh, he was an Augustinian and then became a Franciscan priest. He was known to be a, a learned man. He preached against heresy, and he was the first Franciscan to teach other Franciscans theology. He died in the year 1531 and is honored today as the doctor of the church. <clears throat> and of course, in popular piety, St. Anthony is in charge of lost and found. Let us call to mind our sins and ask forgiveness. You have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. You have given us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. You are the good shepherd leading us into everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who gave St. Anthony of Padua to your people as an outstanding preacher and an intercessor in their need, grant that with his assistance we will follow the teachings of the Christian life and may your help in every trial. We pray through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the first book of Kings. Elijah said to Ahab, go up, eat and drink, for there is the sound of a heavy rain. So Ahab went up to eat and drink, while Elijah climbed to the top of the Carmel, crouched down to the earth, and put his head between his knees. Climb up and look out to the sea, he directed his servant, who went up and looked, but reported, there is nothing. Seven times, he said, go look again. And the seventh time the youth reported, there is a cloud as small as a, ha a man's hand rising from the sea. Elijah said, go and say to Ahab, harness up and leave the mountain before the rain stops you. In a trice, the sky grew dark with clouds and wind and a heavy rain fell. Ahab mounted his chariot and made for Jezreel, but the hand of the Lord was on Elijah, who girded up his clothing and ran before Ahab as far as the approaches to Jezreel. The word of the Lord. It is right to praise you in Zion, O God. You have visited the land and watered it. Greatly have you enriched it. God's watercourses are filled. You have prepared the grain. It is right to praise you in Zion, O God. Thus you have prepared the land, drenching in furrows, breaking up its clods, softening it with showers, blessing its yield. It is right to praise you in Zion, O God. You have crowned the year with your bounty, and your paths overflow with a rich harvest. The until meadows overflow with it, and rejoicing close the hills. It is right to praise you in Zion, O God. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, I give you a new commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, I tell you, unless your righteousness surpasses that of the scribes and the Pharisees, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. 
You have heard that was said to your ancestors, you shall not kill, and whoever kills will be liable to judgment. But I say to you, whoever is angry with his brother will be liable to judgment, and whoever says to his brother, Raka, will be answerable to the Sanhedrin, and whoever says, you fool, will be liable to fiery Gehenna. Therefore, if you bring your gift to the altar, and there recall that your brother has anything against you, leave your gift there at the altar. Go first, be reconciled with your brother, and then come and offer your gift. Settle with your opponent quickly while on the way to court with him. Otherwise, your opponent will hand you over to the judge, and the judge will hand you over to the guard, and you will be thrown into prison. Amen, I say to you, you will not be released until you have paid the last penny. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise so what Jesus is doing now is uh, reinterpreting the, um, the Torah, the law, uh, in the lens of the Beatitudes. And he's really saying, in essence, here's what God means by those commandments. So we hear him today say, you shall not kill, but really, whoever's angry is liable to judgment. See what Jesus is trying to do? He's trying to get to our attitudes, those thoughts, those attitudes, those perspectives in life that lead to our sins, that lead to our sinful actions. As I mentioned yesterday, Jesus, the commandments are like basement living. Jesus expects much more than that. He wants to shape our thoughts, our outlook, the way we understand our world and the relationships in which we live. So today as we come and as we are challenged to look at our relationships with those that we are estranged with, Jesus places a pretty, pretty challenging um, challenge before us, rather. If we forgive somebody, that's one thing, but are we reconciled with the person we're at odds with? Are we at peace with them? So today as we come and we share in the very body and blood of the Prince of, Priests, of Prince of Peace, let us pray that we will truly try to reconcile with those with whom we are estranged and at odds with. And more importantly, let us let Jesus shape our thoughts, our innermost thoughts and the recesses of our minds and hearts so that truly we may live as his disciples. Let us stand now, bring our petitions to the mercy of the Lord. For the Holy Father, may God protect his health and strengthen him in his leadership of the church. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For world leaders, may God grant them ears to hear his word and willingness to obey. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For families in conflict, may God in his mercy bring love and peace and a willingness to reconcile. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For all gathered here, May the love of Christ overflow in our hearts and make us instruments of his peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, may the Father draw them with joy into his heavenly kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Antoinetta Mastroianni, for whom this Mass is offered, and for what or whom do we pray today? Lord, hear our prayer.
For Teresa Cotino, whose funeral mass will be later this morning, for all the faithful departed, and now seeking the intercession of Our Lady of Peace, Hail Mary, full of, full grace, of grace, the Lord, the Lord is with, with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. We ask all these things through Christ our Lord. Thank you. That's a bit of all creation. For your goodness, we have this bread to walk which earth is given in human hands and may become for us the bread of life. May us be no more. God, we ask you to please us to accept the sacrifice we offer humbly upon a dry heart. Lord, wash away my iniquity, cleanse me from all my sins. Thank you. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. Receive, O Lord, the offerings placed on your altar in commemoration of St. Anthony so that as you have brought him glory, you may through these sacred mysteries grant us your pardon. We pray through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just our duty and salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, Although you have no need of our praise, yet our desire to thank you is itself your gift. Our praises add nothing to your greatness, but they profit us for salvation through Christ Jesus. And so with all the choirs of angels and saints, may our voices be one in grateful praise as we say, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. And humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, 
and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Joseph, her husband, the apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. The Savior's command formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Forgive those who trespass against us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look then not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. God's peace, Buster. <laughs> Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The blood of Christ. Amen. The blood of Christ. Amen. The body 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 of Christ. 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 Amen. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The body of Christ. 
The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Just put a, a large one that will be fine. Let us pray. Lord, may the mysteries we have received prepare us, we pray, for the eternal joys that as a faithful steward, St. Anthony came to deserve. We pray through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Have a good day.